Now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, I want to start it off by talking about uh, you know, our short-term weather. It's pretty quiet out there today. Weak area low pressure is going to form here uh, down to our southeast. That will ride slowly to the north, uh, really more so tonight. And uh, that'll bring us a chance for some uh, brief wintry mix. Now, there's some snow showers back to the west. They move east, they should fall apart. But uh, a couple of those trying to hold together uh, west of Richmond, a couple flurries. So, you know, could we see one or two of those? Well, it looked like it was going to be more towards the evening for that, but uh, maybe up towards the northern neck, we get a quick flurry or sprinkle today. Uh, temperatures will be above freezing, though. Now, here's Super Doppler 10 close in. Things are quiet and dry for the morning commute, and they're going to stay dry for the morning. So, clouds are definitely going to increase. There's no doubt about that. Clouds increasing through the day. Here's noon time. This is future track. Our computer model takes us up through the afternoon. Here's three o'clock. We see lots of clouds out there. Keep going through time. Six o'clock. I think we, again, we probably could get a few flurries or sprinkles as we go into the evening hours and overnight that area low pressure gets a little closer. So here it is some rain showers forming. Now it's mostly going to be rain. Temperatures will be above freezing. There will be some sleep pellets, maybe a couple wet snowflakes trying to mix in. This is between 2 o'clock and I think even between 7 a.m. Our model clears things out probably a little too early. But either way, I do expect there to be quieter weather after 7 a.m. And through the day Friday, we'll see mostly cloudy skies. Quiet once again, highs in the 40s. But then Friday night into Saturday, the moisture increases and another system, a bigger system, is going to form offshore, and that's going to bring us some snow showers. So this future track computer model doesn't really kick things off until about 7 a.m. Saturday morning. Now, this is just one computer model, and that's about as far out as it goes. Let me show you another computer model. This is uh, the GFS or American model. We've referenced it quite a bit, especially when it comes to tropical weather. Uh, and so this computer model gets things going into high gear by 3 a.m. And so uh, it looks like there's even some heavy snow at times. A wintry mix at first across northeast North Carolina. Then this is probably going to be snow in Elizabeth City. Bands of snow in here. This is Saturday 8 a.m. for the Hampton Roads area and uh, keeps going till 1130 a.m. And it could go all day. So this is a different computer model, the GFS. I'll reference that again in a moment. Saturday, all the computer models have this area low pressure forming offshore and throwing the moisture back over into this cold. So uh, the computer models are starting to agree on the pattern. So that same model, the GFS, is estimating 10, 11, 12, 14 inches of snow between Norfolk down to Ahoski and a little lesser amounts up towards uh, Newport News, Williamsburg, Eastern Shore, still five to eight inches of snow. The European model, another one, long range. This one's uh, calling for similar amounts, but a little bit less. But this one will update probably uh, later today, and we'll see which way it goes. But right now, it's still calling for some hefty amounts in Hampton Roads. So with all the computer models together, here's my kind of preliminary forecast. It's still early. It's apt to change. But I think we'll see 8 inches or more in here easily for Virginia Beach, Chesapeake. Let's just say the south side. Uh, down to northeast North Carolina, where there could be a zone of 10 inches or more. And some of that could even get a little bit more northward. All right, we got four to eight inches of snow up there around the peninsula north, uh, lesser amounts. There might be a sharp cutoff in here where Richmond hardly sees any snow, and then we see close to a foot in some places in the viewing area. It's still, and also a sharp cutoff on the south end. So if the track changes, these numbers will change. Stay tuned. This is preliminary, but it gives you an idea that there's going to be, you know, some, some significant snow in the area Saturday. This will be for Saturday. Uh, now, if it comes down Saturday, it's going to stick Sunday into Monday because of the cold temperatures. And right now it's cold. It's in the 30s mostly. We've got a few 20s in Portsmouth, and we've got highs in the upper 40s going on for today, uh, near 50 degrees. Winds will be light and variable and increasing clouds. So no problems today. Tomorrow morning, no big problems, maybe just a, a couple of slowdowns. But the rest of the day, just clouds. Saturday, problems. Yeah, with all that snow coming in, highs in the 30s, it's going to slow things down. And again, it may stick Sunday into Monday.